Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. So, I mean, hi. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say. Oh, I was gonna say, I am, um, I feel like I haven't filmed anything for a really long time, even though I have been putting things out every week. I film all my videos in one day at the beginning of the week. So the rest of the week, I'm now like, I've become too organized and I'm uncomfortable with it. So um, I want to say it feels good to be back, but I haven't really been gone, but it feels good to be back. Okay, so here's what I'm doing for you all today. I love discovering new brands, um, whether they're high-end, drugstore, independent brands, I love um, discovering, and by discovering, I mean buying. <laughs> Not buying the brand, oh my god, um, I meant the products. So I asked you all, I wanted to know your worst reviewed products, or the products that you absolutely hated. And I didn't want you to be nice about it and be like, it could be better, I wanted to know what you despised. So I have some of them in front of me today, some of them I already own and I'm a little bit surprised at. Um, one of them, actually, I'm a little bit surprised at. And I was surprised to see it come up. I'm gonna go through all of them with you. But just before we get into that today, if this is your first time here at my channel, hi, my name is Robert. I'm a professional makeup artist here on YouTube and also in real life. This is my goal to help you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really good at makeup. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, then please consider subscribing. Okay, shall we just get straight into it and look at some of these products? I've actually never heard of this product. I'm going to start with eyebrows today. And this is the Pixie Natural Brow Duo. Oh, but I should probably say that I haven't done it in a way where I chose like the most mentioned. This was mentioned maybe once or twice and I just chose some. So on one side, it has the brow pencil, which is this triangle shape. I hate this shape, by the way. I know some people love it. I personally really like a really defined pointed pencil, very fine. I don't like using that that tip. I don't, I never need my brow pencil to be this thick. Can you see it? Yeah. And I thought when I opened it, I thought it was really strange. What's that kind of liquidy stuff in the middle? Oh, and ah, uh, so this is like the brow, the, the brow gel. Oh my God, it smells like um, glue in school. Remember when um, you had glue in school? <laughs> <laughs> not the stick, like in the big, what's it called? It's PVA or craft glue. And you would like paint your nails with it and then peel it off. Maybe I shouldn't sniff it then. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do this in a way where I'm just going to brush through my brows, shade in the areas that I need to, and then go on with a brow gel. Just because I find that well, sometimes when you put on a brow gel, some products don't work over the top. And although it's a hated product, I kind of want to give it the benefit of the doubt. So let's try. Oh, I really, I really don't like these, like, razor. I think they became, like, a trend for a little bit. And then everyone was like, let's do it. But no, I really, really don't like him. That's not bad, though. <laughs> so it actually feels really smooth. It goes on really, um, smoothly. <laughs> it kind of glides on. And the, the pencil isn't, you can see, it's not too heavy. It's not like pitch, pitch black. Okay, I'm just gonna brush through. That, it goes on quite nicely um, and glides on quite well. I have to be honest, that's the first time I've been with one of those pencils, that, that kind of shape. I've been like, okay, I would love that formula in a very pointed pencil, a very defined pencil. Because one thing that I couldn't do with that is get the outside corners nice and, and straight. I would like to straighten out. Actually, let's do that. Let's try and do that. Oh, can you see my brow dips up right here? See, because it's... Mm, okay, we'll try a little bit of this, the brow gel that comes with it. I'm assuming it's tinted because it does have that tiny bit of colour. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever used. My brows, um, I very light, very lightly laminated. Like I didn't use too much lamination stuff yesterday. So my brows are holding in place kind of okay. I wish I did a little bit more, but, but I do think if I hadn't laminated them, maybe the gel wouldn't hold so well. We'll see. Let's see, you can always tell, especially my eyebrow here, my brows grow downwards, so you can almost see there's like a divide between my brow and the hairs above, where it's like a little bit thicker and it gets a little bit less dense and lighter. But other than that, I mean, it's okay. It's a brow product. Um, I just, I feel like the lack of control you have with those pencils, that shape, that triangle, 
is, I understand the theory behind it, but at the same time, I'm like, unless you want to draw on like a solid, like almost tattoo like brow, I don't like those pencils. I'm just gonna put on an eye primer and then we'll go on to um, the worst palette, eyeshadow palette. Okay, so I've just used a bit of my e.l.f. Putty Primer. This is an eyeshadow primer that I know and love and I know works well with um, most eyeshadow formulas. So this was actually mentioned a few times, nothing crazy, but I thought I'd try it because it has the most color. And this is the Pro Fusion Cosmetics Spectrum 10 Shade Pro Pigment Palette. Now, I don't think I've ever used this brand. Correct me if I'm wrong. Profusion, is that the brand? Or Spectrum, the brand? Profusion is the brand. Um, I don't remember using this brand before, so I've never used their formula. And one of the people who um, mentioned this one said they had seen mixed reviews. Their palette in particular was dry and chalky. So I wanna try and see what we can do. It doesn't have a smell. Now, I mean, straight up looking at it, this looks like an attractive palette. I'm, I'm attracted to it. What do we do? What do we do? Let's just do anything. So let's take the shade Peacock. No, let's take B Bermuda. I don't know why that was a struggle. It'll be interesting to see how a light pastel, like blue, how if, you know, if it's a good kind of tone and if it's a good pigmentation. And pastels are pretty hard to formulate because they can come out chalky and dry and with not enough pigmentation. And sometimes it can be a little bit more of a challenge to build up and blend. I mean, so far, it's not the worst thing ever. It feels, um, drugstore. What I would expect from drugstore makeup, which is fine, you know? Let's try and add another colour on top. I feel like the test is how we can layer these products. So let's go into Peacock. That's not showing up, right? Let's go into Nautical. You can see the, the previous color, the light blue kind of coming away, which is again, something I expect from something a bit more drugstore. So you can build up the color, but you know, ideally eyeshadow, It'd be nice if we can blend it too. Oh dear me. That's awful actually. That's a horrible, horrible formula, horrible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you, can you see up in my um, crease? <laughs> you can see my skin underneath. It's starting to take away the eyeshadow underneath. And this isn't just this palette this happens with. Um, <laughs> it's so bad, it's so bad. Wow, that's awful. I can't believe it, look. What do I do? Okay, let's, okay, let's do this. Let's, oh, I can't, terrible, absolutely terrible, look. I mean, fallout's another thing, but I don't really mind that because I do my eyes. So look, where's that color? <sighs> and look, when you blend it, I'm blending it very gently. I'm holding my brush right at the end and I'm being very gentle. <sighs> Absolutely not. I'm just gonna build up this color on the, <laughs> the whole lid and then put like a gloss on top and you know, at least then it can be some Instagram content. <laughs> Because of this, this is awful, terrible, terrible, terrible formula. Absolutely awful. Do people test this? Do people test it afterwards? Who tried this and was like, yeah, great, let's put that out. Oh, it's horrible. I actually can't quite believe it. Okay, so. <laughs> I just, it's just so, and you know what as well, it's gone all patchy where some of the eyeshadow's been taken off the lid, it's gripping to some other areas. Okay, let's stop there with our eyeshadow because I can't, I can't go on like that. Okay, let's move on to concealer. 
So this is the Max Factor Face Affinity All Day Flawless Concealer. Now, this is one of the items I already had. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll try it because I haven't actually tried this yet. So one of the main concerns with this that I saw was that it didn't feel like a concealer, like it wasn't great coverage, which kind of confuses me because it says All Day Flawless. So I'm guessing it's going to be like 24 hour wear quite heavy. We will see. See if we can uh, <laughs> fix up this eye makeup. <laughs> now it does. The formula does feel kind of thick. I do understand the. It's not the heaviest, but you know, concealers aren't always going to be full on, full coverage, caked on concealer. Sometimes they're going to be a little bit more fluid based and a little bit more natural, which I personally like. For me, I find the thicker, like for example, concealers in pots are quite, they can potentially make the skin quite textured. This eyeshadow, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. I mean, it's not the worst, but at the same time, it's not the best. I've used some drugstore um, concealers that are a little bit more what I like to use, a little bit more blurring. The Wet n Wild um, concealer was incredible. Why do, why do I never use that? It's right over there. Um, the e.l.f. Um, clicky hydrating ones, really, really nice. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. If you don't want too much coverage, and but you want like just to even out skin tone, it's fine. It's a concealer. It, it's like here. It's like, mm. So for foundation, this came up a lot. And I've never used this before. But at the same time, I thought people liked this kind of section of a brand. I thought people really liked this. And this is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Normal to oily skin with clay. Oh, good. So I have 118 Nude and 128 Warm Nude. I think that may be a little bit too warm for me, so I'm going to go with a 118 Nude. So people weren't impressed with this foundation in general. Too matte, too um, dry on the skin, looked cakey, too much texture. So I'm wearing my favourite face primer off, you know, at the moment, the month. It'll probably change again. It's the Elf Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. Um, again, I'm using this because I've used it with a few different foundations. Where's my, where's all my brushes? Where are my brushes? Um, because I know it works with a lot of foundations I've used. What the hell? Because I know it works with majority of my foundations. Change of plan. I'm going to go in with 128 Warm Nude, actually. The 118 looks a little bit too light for me. It's going on really nicely. It's applying really well. I personally, with foundations like this, I like to build up bit by bit. Do like a base coat. See how much coverage you get, how much you need, and then go in again. I mean, it's not the worst. There's definitely some texture going on on my nose. However, that's my nose. But here's another thing I know. Being oily, and this foundation being for oily skin, I'm actually going to leave it a few minutes. Let's get on with the rest and see how the oils in my skin act with the foundation because I'm super oily. And if you're super oily, you know, two minutes, might as well not have put foundation on. So let's really discuss the next one. And this is the one I was surprised at. When I was asking for your, like, least favourite products or hated products, I asked in particular categories, so I was like, blush, bronzer, um, other, other bits of makeup, pieces of makeup. And one that kept coming up was the Fenty Beauty Cream Blusher. I don't know why. I don't know why. I've used this. A long time ago, I've used this now. So it has been a little while, but you can see I've used this one. I should clean that. And I liked it. So I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. A lot of the people saying the size was the biggest disappointment for them. Um, they wanted something a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna put it on. I personally, I really like the, the cream blushes. I like Fenty in general. I think they have some really great products. That first eyeshadow palette wasn't the best, but the complexion products, the primers, uh, everything like that. I know people want me to do a full face of Fenty and I will, but when I buy, when I buy full face products, I'm kind of like, okay, I, you know, I'm just going to experiment, but I want my Fenty products to be my Fenty products that I use. So in terms of colouring, I want it to be perfect and not being able to go and try the foundation at the moment. I'm a little bit like, mm. 
And I know people are like, that foundation, I've used that website a few times and it's been completely wrong. So let's not. But I, I, I love this blush. I don't see anything wrong with it. I think it looks like skin. It sits really nicely on the skin. It doesn't interfere with makeup underneath in any way. I just really like it. So I'm I'm confused as to why people didn't like it. But um, there you go. Such is life. Okay, so next up is the Revolution Pro Skin and Finish. This is what a lot of people, not a specific shade, and I've used this one and I believe I like it. So again, it's been a long time. So let's give it another go. But from what I remember, I quite liked this one. Oh no, now I see, okay. Okay, I see. So it is it is a tiny bit textured. It does look like texture in the skin when you look close up. Um, I get it now, okay. It's not, I mean, it's not terrible though. It's, I mean, you know, could be, it could be worse. <laughs> but there, there is, you are right, there is a little bit of texture in the skin, but it's not terrible, right? It's not, I mean, is it? I don't know, I don't know. Am I immune to crappy highlighters? The nose texture's getting better. It's getting less textured. <laughs> okay, this is another one I was surprised at because so many people love it or you hear so many people like it. And it's one of those products that people are like, yeah, it's really, really good. And it's actually a product that I have in my professional kit. So I am... Um... <laughs> I'm going to use it today. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Right? People love this. So this is from a kit. So just to show, I'm going to use it hygienically. I'm just putting a clean tissue on my hand here and I'm just going to pour some out into the tissue. Put the lid back on and I'm going to use it from the tissue. I have not used this in so long. But it's one I personally chose for my kit because I find it really smoothing on people's skin. And the colours that they do, because it is translucent, the colours are quite universal. So you can, um, so you can accommodate for everyone of every skin tone. Um, I, I like it. I don't see the, the negative. I'm sorry. That foundation concealer isn't looking so great though, is it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So for lips, there was a brand in general where you all despise the lip products. You could not stop hating these lip products. And that was NYX or NYX, whatever you want to call it. Um, and a lot of you said the lip pencil. So I have a lip pencil here and this is the shade Natural. And I have used this before. And I was like, it's fine, but I didn't really, I just applied it. I wasn't really assessing. So let's give, I look green. I look green. My lips are so dry. My lips are dry. Oh my God, look after your lips this winter season. Um, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it, to be honest with you. I think it's absolutely fine. Don't know what else to say. <laughs> okay, so next up is this from Barry M. Let me just take it out of packaging. So this is the That's Swell XXL Extreme Lip Plumper. So somebody said, Barry M, That's Swell Plump Lip Gloss thing. I thought my lips were going to fall off the pain. So I used like a lip plumping thing once from, I think it was L'Oreal. This was ages ago. I went shopping to a drugstore to get um, some makeup. And on like, you know, when you just, they hang things down <laughs> and usually it's like lip balms and crap like that. And I saw this lip plumping thing from L'Oreal and I was like, let me try it. I don't know what I did or how it did it, but my lip, um, I got like this scar, like this mark on my lip and I don't know why or how, but it, it hurt. It really, really hurt. So I don't know how they did it. Okay. So let's give it a go. I've left, um, like a gap up here and here so I can like feel the gloss. Oh, it smells good. It sounds like Starburst. But like the, um, like the red fruits version. So while we're waiting for my lips to blow up, I'm just going to put some of this eyeshadow as much as I don't want to underneath my eyes to kind of attempt to finish up some kind of look. Look. I don't know why I said it like that.
Okay, so my lips are a little bit in pain, but I feel like if you have a high pain threshold, you'll be okay. Do I feel like my lips are plump? Not really, maybe because I've just been sitting here looking at them, but I feel like they look a bit smoother, maybe. Um, I put on a little bit darker eyeliner with the eyes to try and save it a little bit. Uh, actually, you know what? I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. I can't even be bothered to put lashes on and, and consider this a look because it's really not. So here's the deal. Eyeshadow palette. I don't know why, who let this exist, who let, who, who out of you, not out of you, but who works here, tried this and was like, yeah, yeah, I do find it questionable, I've just been looking at their website, I do find it questionable how people said this was good, um, and some reviews like, it blends really well, if you, if you're starting out a kit, get this, don't get this, please don't use this on clients, please, 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 wouldn't recommend, wouldn't recommend it at all, but I see what the person who said this was like, it's got mixed reviews, the brows, it's okay, it's nice, if you have fine brows, I think the gel's really nice, because it's not too heavy, the pencil was a really nice texture, formula, I wish it was a point instead, but other than that, fine. The foundation, I'm actually not mad at the foundation. I actually quite like the foundation. I think it was nice. Um, I think if I left it unpowdered, it would have looked better. Concealer, absolutely fine. Highlighter, mm, I feel like if I use it wet, would have been good. The blush, it's fancy blush. It's perfect. Oh, the gloss is actually, I might actually have to take it off now. It's really stingy. Yeah, my lips, my lips still hurt really bad. Actually, that really hurts. Um, yes, yeah, so maybe not. What else? Powder, great. So yeah, I mean, it kind of just goes to show that we all have different experiences with products. Uh, it was nice to discover some of those brands. There's a few things that I wouldn't, I maybe wouldn't try the brand because of the products. Um, and I'm talking about the eyeshadow and that's it. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know your opinion of these products below. Let me know the worst product you have ever tried below in the comments. And the best. Let's level it up a little bit. Best and worst. And let's see. Thanks again for joining me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Consider subscribing. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.